This is a story of six sisters. In a world protected by the power of song. The land of seas. The land of mountains. The land of forests. The land of sands. And the cathedral city. But one of these sisters seeks to bring about the world's ruin. And she won't rest until all the others are dead. The traitorous intoner is called Zero. And she has fled to the land of seas, where she heals and waits. No. No. D don't. Please. Don't leave me. Michael! <gasps> Damn nightmares. So yes, this is about a year ago, year later after her failed assault on her sisters. And this is zero now. She's pretty different. She's, things have changed, but let's just in, view around her little hut. It's been an entire year, and I'm still dreaming of him. Michael. Um, unfortunately, and this is not really much of a spoiler, but Michael has unfortunately passed away. Which is why she is pretty much dreaming of him still. <sighs> My eye hurts like a bitch. And her eye is hurting for obvious reasons because there's, well, a flower growing out of it. But that's neither here nor there. My new arm seems good to go. Not the most elegant of solutions, but hey, I've never been picky. Also, she has a new prosth a prosthetic arm to make up for the fact that she lost her arm to Gabriel a year ago. There's a reason for that, and it'll be ex and I'll let the story itself explain it as it go as we go on. So, one last thing to examine. I can't believe how long it took my wounds to heal, but now it's finally time. And you might be wondering, what on earth is all that noise? Thank you, Zero. I'm one. I'm. I know you're wondering that too. So, without further ado, let's figure out what the hell is going on. Yes. times have I told you? Don't roll around in the fucking mud! Yes, so you've witnessed a... Sorry. It won't. It won't happen again. So you just witnessed a dragon piss himself. The, this game has a few comedic, moment, comedic moments like that. And I would be lying if I said they, weren't, they didn't feel forced beyond belief. Um, but that dragon is known as Mikhail. Um, we'll explain a bit more about him, but for now let's just keep moving on. We can't really do much of attacking for the meantime other than, well, just picking. 
gives us just items for money. So you're really okay? You're not hurt anymore? Well, it took a year, but yeah, I'm good. Don't you think you should rest some more? And watch you roll around in shit all day? No thanks. Also, I enjoy the text that kind of appears during here. It's kind of a little weird story of sorts. Cryptic bullshit as usual, but still good. Um, this is sort of still like a bit of a tutorial, just to give you a feel of like how most maps will be. They won't be as linear as this. But last year was pretty hard, huh? Yep. Did Michael say he was scared or anything? <laughs> Are you kidding? Hmm. I guess you didn't retain any of his memories, huh? No. Still, I can't believe he wasn't scared. That's good. Just great. I'm gonna try to be just like him. Basically, that is to hint that Mikhail here is basically the reincarnation of Michael. Just without the same personality, voice, or memories of Michael. And so we have Mikhail here. And this is a chest. There are th usually three of these hidden around every level. They will not be as easily found as this. Um, usually they will contain either one of three things: a weapon as such, material, a material for upgrade, which is for upgrading weapons, or money, which is basically used for just everything under the sun. Um, I will be attempting. Tr I will be trying to get as many of these chests as I can on record, like. On screen. So, Zero, what did you call Michael? Yeah, I... Uh, Michael? So, why don't you call me Mikhail, huh? You know, instead of dummy or you or whatever. You need to be a full fledged dragon before I use your name. Aww. See, so, yeah, Mikhail is basically the dragon equivalency of a yeah. child, which is why Zero kind of is a bit more annoyed because, well, Mikhail no longer being a full fledged dragon and, Mik and Michael being dead. Kinda puts her plans of killing her sisters. See that battleship? Uh huh. Not a lot. Torch it. Huh? Why? Can't we just talk to him instead? Are you kidding? That'd be way too much effort. Also, I love Ma Mikhail's sort of like very peaceful like outbringings. It's like, well, do we have to kill? We can talk. Take out the ship from the air. Okay. I'll deal with the trash on the ground. And then, at the de and then at the end of the day, when it comes to being ordered, he will commit murder if need be, just to please Zero. It's so wonderful, but we still have much- but now, it's time for the actual level, where we can now right. continue forth in murder. Just worry about yourself, and stay focused. So this is the power of the Anybody in mind is gonna lose a head. So yes, now we get to go back. We get to go back to the delightful murdering of all the wonderful so so soldiers. Oh, and if you slow me down, you're dead. So yeah, basically we are now in five, the territory of Lady Five, the our youngest sister, basically. Why? Well, again, for the simple reason of we want the, our sister dead. More or less. Hey, it beats having a whole bunch you need to kill. Oh yeah. Yes. You know, I don't think you should kill yourself. Oh yeah. Yeah. You don't say. I mean, that's the whole. No way you No. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mikhail. I know you want Zero to not viciously murder her sisters, but she's pretty much made up her mind. She is going to kill them no matter what gets in her way. Come here. Nor rain or shine will stop her from murdering her sisters. They all have an appointment with death, and she's going to d show them the way. And, well, let's just say this, pretty much the beginning tutorial, like, the, the prologue from before and this are pretty much, are basically where the game is at its most normal. 
I'll tell you now, from here on out, it's not gonna be this it's not gonna be this normal. It's going to get strange very fucking quick. And I kinda like it that way. It works. But you'll see. Also archers, because archers are still the bane of everyone's existence. But the good thing about archers to no longer deal with, if you manage to get up to them, they die like instantly. They have and that means I have to kill the others. Clear enough for you? No, not really. And maybe some I'm sure you probably never will might and kale, unfortunately. But yes. Archers are very easy to deal with. Once you get up to them, they're pretty much helpless. And this is just generally one of the few one of the many objectives you will see commonly throughout these throughout this part these levels is pretty much kill like some dudes. And that is a circle which allows us to Well, as it says here, we can call over Mikhail to this battlefield should we desire. And when you do, you better not chicken out on me. That means no running away like a crybaby. And no rolling around in your own face. Oh, I'll Zero, are you okay? You can always call on me, You can call on me anytime. Quit repeating things. It's a memory. So yeah, one thing you'll learn about Zero is she is... She gets easily annoyed by a lot of things, basically. Yeah, so she's still kind of knowing what she wants to do. And if you don't call Mikhail, you basically get some help. Thank you, Zero. We know that before. No. Whatever. That can do attitude's gonna get you killed. What the hell? Is that a shop? Um, yes, Zero, that is a shop. I'm glad you finally noticed. <laughs> Mail order, huh? Well, whatever works. So, yeah, this is basically the shop. It works sort of out in between levels and verses, so. We'll be getting. We'll be kind of paying visit there. I will mostly be doing those off screen. I'll just kind of show off anything I acquire after the fact. So. We won't really be Let's there for long. For the so yeah, all that's left now is just to continue murdering soldiers, left and right. Or we could be done, because that is the beginning of the first mission of Chapter 1, the first verse. This is basically how you get experience, it's based on your the amount of experience you get from just killing dudes, the amount of damage you take will also depend on how much experience you do, and basically just a if you manage to continue on without dying and you have to use a continue. So that's generally how the experience works there. Um, as any sort of action RPG, we get levels in which pretty much just improve our stats in general. This is basically anything we pick up from dead people or from boxes, which pretty much transfer to money, which is always nice. And this is pretty much showing us the treasure that we found. Which, a copper base is pretty much a material we can upgrade. The internal voice is a new sword we can use, and we got some more money. So, pretty much in general, we're doing pretty well. All things considered. Hooray! And the progress, and our progress has been saved. Um, I think this will show us our new window. This... Alright, so this is the new menu. This will basically show us our new items, or pretty much we'll be visiting a lot in between levels. This is our soul, the new blade we have, which is pretty much just the eternal voice. It's smaller. It's a smaller sword, so it moves a bit differently. It's also It also does a bit more damage than what we have already, but that's neither here nor there. Um, in the shop, we can buy weapons, which pretty much we, as you can see there, we can buy po recovery potions, strength or defense potions, which... 
pretty much we can boost our attack and defense for a limited time, as usual. As for weapon, as for weapons, we can. This is only the only weapon we can buy now, the Executioner's Sin. Um, but there will be more weapons that will be unlocked here as time goes on. I will be having to collect all these weapons eventually, and I will try to showcase them as well as best as I can. So I think with that, let's call it for now. So next time on Dragon Guard, we'll continue on with verse two. So yeah. Take care, everyone, and I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, bye, everyone! <laughs>